Hey tech fans, welcome back to another edition of Tech of Tomorrow. Now today we're going to be taking a look at a product from the company HIS. This product is their new IceQ X2 HD 7970. Now this card features 2048 stream processors, it has a core clock of 1000 megahertz and a boost clock of 1050 megahertz. It has 3 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory and the memory speed is 6000 megahertz or 6 gigabits per second. Also has a 384 bit memory interface. Now some of the features on this card are going to be its cooling. They say it's going to run 17C cooler than your standard card and also 15DB quieter. So it's supposed to run quieter and cooler. Go ahead and move it to the side right here. There's some more features. Flip it around the back real quick. So now as you see the back of the box, we can see, once again, we see they have their cooler, quieter. There's also five heat pipes. It's looking a lot like the toxic cooling we've seen on the VaporX series of cards. We have the IceQ cooling technology, which is part of their name, the IceQ X2 or X squared. As we move down the box, we see high quality components. It says six dynamic phase control PWM IC. HIS cards are something more. The five dynamic control PWM IC phases provide extra power, stability, and overclocking capability to the card. Hmm, interesting. Full solid state capacitors, solid state choke. Here's some of their standard features right here. Obviously, it does iFinity. Let's move on now and start taking a look at the card. Go ahead and pop the cap here. You see the box inside the box. So we have the box outside the box. I'll go ahead and pop the cap. Good, remove the cover. We're right off the bat. We'll just pull the card on out of the box. So we'll do things differently here. Let's take a look at the back of the card first. You guys can see on the side of the card, here are the heat pipes. I'll actually flip it around so you guys can actually see it a little bit better that way and see the HIS logo right there. Two 8-pin power connections. So up here on the back of the card, we see the two Crossfire connections. That we can do Quad Crossfire. Down here is the PCI 3.0 interface. The card's obviously a two-slot configuration. You guys can see the heat fins all right here. Show you guys the bottom of the card again where you guys can see the cooling once again. Like I said, it does resemble quite a bit uh, the toxic cooling that we've seen before in other cards. I'm sure these guys have all their own stuff, but it's pretty similar. And then check out the front of the car. We see two twin turbo fans with the HIS logo, with the nice big X. So the card actually does have some really good looks to it. Now we see the rear I.O. We can see the rear I.O. is based off the original ASIC. This is based off the original one. You can see it has a single dual-link DVI, HDMI, and two mini display ports. Now, there is some other stuff, though, in the box. And those would be the accessories. So let's begin to pull those out of here. So we see the HIS, faster, cooler, quieter. It's going to be the driver's seat, and everything will be inside of here. Open that up. Kaboom, there you go. Their CD and everything, including a case badge, is all inside of here. Next up, we have another CD. This is some Turbo Your Graphics Card Assistant. So this is probably going to be something to do with their software for boosting the card. DVI to VGA adapter. Crossfire connection. And then finally, precaution taken during transportation. They're basically making sure to tell you that you lock your card up so it doesn't snap off and break your system. Most people know that. So that's it, folks. That's everything that comes in the box of the new HIS HD Radeon 7970 IceQ X2 or X squared. Hope you guys like this video. If so, hit that like button and show me you guys appreciate it. I can't wait to get this card in the system and see how it runs. See you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow.